So guys, hello and welcome back to another Explain 11 and welcome from a very wet and miserable London Gatwick Airport. As you see in front of me, it is a 2737-800 and we're going to fly up to Innsbruck today in Austria. As some people might know, Innsbruck has a very challenging approach and we're going to be doing the circle to land for 08 today. Our flight time will roughly be about an hour and 30 minutes down there and we're cruising at flight level 350 today. So, um, without further ado, uh, we'll get into the flight deck and get set up. So welcome to the flight deck. I have, for some reason, I have planned the departure, but then I, um, I must have put that in by mistake, okay. Uh, so hang on, let me just do this. So we are going from Gatwick uh, to Innsbruck. Our call sign today is Tom Jet uh, for Lima Yankee. As it says in here, we're out via the Ad Ag Ad Mag to X-ray departure of two six left. So it's a more westerly runway. Uh, so if we go into here, our, if I click on my other screen here. My route's up here. So from Atmag, it's the Yankee uh, 312. One, and that is to Dover, the VOR. Uh, Delta Victor Romeo. Where is R at? There you are. Um, from Dover, it is UL9, or the Upper Lima 9. And that is going to Conan. And then it is the Upper Lima 607. Uh, to Remba. And then it's direct Lursi. Uh, SU. And then direct Nonco. And then direct uh, back on the upper Lima 607 there, right? Which is not going to take. Oh well. Uh, we'll go uh, direct to Utab Utaba. 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 Uh, and then it's a Mike 738. <laughs> or flying a 73800 today. <clears throat> uh, Mike 738. And then it is Madeb. Or Deb B. And then from there it's the arrivals and we'll plan that in the cruise. So we can activate that and execute that. Uh, what we will do is we'll. S uh, if we go into PA system. No, we don't want that one. Okay. I would like. One, two, three, four. Uni United, Southwest, Southwest, American, American Airlines. I would just put two. American. Because 2E doesn't have a a um, uh, thing for the uh, announcements for the Zebo. Uh, so it is per it. Uh, we are taking 59.1 as our zero fuel weight. Uh, reserves, uh, we are taking 2 tons. Uh, cost index, I'll just put 20, I don't know what 2E use. Ryanair use 6, EasyJet use 12, or 6 in the Airbus. Um, uh, cruising at 350 today, and the cruise winds up there is... 287 degrees at uh, 056. 
and the ice deviation up there is a minus a six. Um, we can. Well, I will not. We'll derate it a wee bit, but we are pretty heavy, so we'll. Uh, we might just go 27. I will just go full. Uh, we'll be using flaps five for the CG. Yeah, very heavy. See high speeds today, and the V2 is 150. Oh, one way past it. And yes, so we can go on the next page. The runway wind, if I can find it, it is Gatwick. Where are we here? Oh, uh, the wind is. 210 degrees of 13 knots gusting to 24 knots so 210 degrees at 13 uh, acceleration height is a thousand thrust reduction is a thousand and it's an NADP 2 uh, so it's climb uh, clutch to climb at a thousand and and Accelerate, uh, be clean with flaps up by 3,000, I think. Uh, uh, the fees are just the same, uh, even though they're deleted. Um, uh, we can put the flight directors on. Uh, we'll set 6,000 in here for now. And we can get the weather for Gatwick, like the uh, winds are. I'll get the weather over on this side even though it's on my second screen, but I've lost it. Anyway. That is us, so hang on, let me just pull up the charts. On my different other screen here. The elevation. Is 202 feet. According to the. Charts. Or no, it's, no, it's the charts are wrong because one chart saying it's 202 and the other chart saying 196. I'll just go in 196. Uh, so we'll go 196 on this side. 19. Or sorry, 19116. Nine six on that side and one nine six. That's for radio. One nine uh, six on that side. Uh, flight director on six five and set auto break is RTO. Uh, why is my yokes hiding? Okay. Um, we can put on the belts. Like the so. seat belt sign is on. Okay. Please be <laughs> and fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, 350 on the cruising altitude. Um, that is all for now. Oh, I forgot to send that. But okay. If we put that on the legs page and not on the takeoff page. Trim today is 4.5 units, so about. Aye, ah, there will do. Um, where are we here now? So we're pretty much on schedule. Uh, the runway heading to 260. 260. Yeah, check. On that side, and we are the QNH at Gatwick is 1011. 1011 set on that side, 1011 set on that side, and 1011 set on that side. Uh, right, so. The passengers are boarding now, so we can. We're supposed to be out of here in about 10 minutes, so we'll get a move on. Uh, we can put the pumps on. 
on the APU you can come on as well. Elevation at Innsbruck is 1,900 feet above. So that is above sea level. So it's a bit high terrain. So a hydraulic start staying on. We too, I think, they pressurise the B pumps and then pressurise the A pumps when the push is completed. But I think we are good for an on-time departure, basically. Hopefully. Um, we will... We don't need to tune any VORs on the departure, I don't think. So we'll just turn tune 260 on the course for just the heading, for just reference. And 260 on that side, 260 on that side. And we shall do the checklist. So, IRS, so, uh, IRS mode selectors are now off gear, fin does remove light test. So, my OVS has just decided to die again on me. Uh, it died in the last video, and it's died in this video, so I am on 2 you know, on OBS. Where were we? Light test is checked, Ox uh, your dampener is on. Uh, the nav transfer and display switches are normal auto fuel required 9.4 required 9.4 are on board and the pumps are on uh, cabin utility and IFE is on emergency exit lights are on fast seat belts on window heats are on packs auto and bleeds are now so bleeds are set uh, pressurization mode selectors auto instruments are checked auto brake is RTO hydraulics are normal speed brake down detent parking brake set uh, stop from cutout uh, switches are normal real well fire warning is checked radios it's unicom and on the transponder it is 2000 even though we're on Vatsum today I might do one on Vatsum soon um, uh, runner any long trim PA I will do one in a minute uh, FMC CDU is checked or set. Sorry, N1 is 97.4, and the uh, box our speed as 1391 or 141 and 150. AFB is on at the minute. Phones are off. Like the uh, door is closed. And we'll start shutting up the things uh, the other doors outside so go down services and doors doors and then uh, we'll start shutting the doors like so and passengers are seated I'll do a PA now that is uh, the above the line completed so I'll do a PA now Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, a very warm welcome aboard this um, uh, 2E flight uh, and by to Innsbruck in Austria. Thank you for all boarding the aircraft so quickly. Uh, we will be getting on the way very shortly. Uh, the cabin crew will be doing a safety briefing. Please pay uh, attention. A bit about the route today: out over, out of Gatwick, over the Channel, out over Dover, making landfall over. Uh, Belgium and then flying over uh, over Germany uh, north of Frankfurt uh, to Innsbruck uh, flight time today is 1 hour 50 or 45 minutes the cabin crew will be doing a safety demonstration please pay your full attention for that otherwise please sit back relax and enjoy your flight that's not too bad <laughs> all right uh, the uh, below the line we'll do now so we will call our good friends at better pushback to pre-plan our pushback and we'll face this way and that should do no that's a bit wonky well, what have I done oh I've done that um it's a bit wonky there that was not as if that'll be fine there. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. And we'll press pushback. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. 
very rainy today on Catwalk. Um, right, so we'll turn on this anti collision light. Uh, we'll start to pressurize the hydraulics. And we shall do the, the before start let checklist uh, below the line. Air conditioning packs are off, anti collision lights on, parking brake is set, and transponder is alt off. That is the before start checklist complete and full. Uh, put on the L now. now. So start tweaking so it will be number two first and then number one. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. I love the skimmer towers on the 737, I think that look really nice. It's a newer design to probably, I think it's to save fuel or something. Uh, the new Maxes have them as well. They've just got certified again, the Maxes, which is good. But anyway. What's uh, the tug driver doing? Just connecting. So we'll push back, probably head out here, uh, down this taxiway, and on to 26 uh, left. Uh, it'll be so straightforward. Okay, parking brakes free, we're ready. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Good. Right, it will be number one first, or number two, sorry. And two. And one. High pressure rising. Twenty five percent then two fuel in. Fuel flow and EGT. Once again, welcome aboard American Airlines. In just a few moments, we'd like you to direct your attention to the video screens located throughout the cabin for an important safety demonstration on our Boeing 737 aircraft. Thank you. <laughs> right, number two is out, and number one, we can start now. And two. M1, oil pressure rising. Twenty five fuel on EGT and fuel flu. Start our cutout, we can just uh, put off the ABUs. Uh, we can put on the probe heats, put the packs back on, bleeds you off, hydraulics can be configured now, and we can turn off the APU completely. Turn on the isolation valve as well. So we'll wait until Operation complete. he does connect it until we set the flaps. Uh, parking brake is set. Disconnecting toes, stand by. Roger. So once we put the flaps down, we'll get going pretty much straight away. We'll be hold. We'll hold that on the. Before taxi, so generators are on, APUs off, start switches are continuous. Anti ice is not required. Um, air conditioning packs on, bleeds on, isolation valve auto flaps. Flaps is we're holding on that. Um, Stab trim uh, is 4.5 units. Um, 4.5 units set. Uh, start levers, idle decamp, flight controls, we'll check now and recall. It's check, so flaps 5. 
and the flight controls full left full right neutral full down full up neutral rudder left rudder right neutral there the flaps down now and we can blank the U lower DU and we can follow that up with the taxi lights and let's get going and we'll start the clock on that side so we'll start the taxiing turn the wipers on now we'll probably need a high thrust setting for taxiing today because we are pretty heavy So we'll make a right turn here. And we'll make a left turn here. It's very short taxi for Gatwick so basically that's next left coming up and then we're on the runway basically and we'll just follow this taxiway down to uh, 26 left so uh, we should be just um, everything is normal on the overhead panel and we can just prepare for departure so flaps are five green lights and stop trim is 4.5 units Oh dear, we just got rid off by a catering van. He didn't see us coming. <laughs> well, um, that's for the video, guys. Uh, we'll just head back to stand here now. We're not going to go to Innsbruck today. Ah, go need you, come over. Well, <laughs> we're fine. It's only a simulator. <laughs> I'll take a right here and we'll get ready to go. the aircraft fine <laughs> um, right we'll take this right here and we will head on to 26 left so we'll put my auto throttle on my button on the joystick or my throttle button uh, we can get the strobes on uh, we can get the landing lights on uh, we can get the transponder to TARA uh, we can get the wipers on to low for the departure and we can put the wing light on and off to make sure the cabin crews there you go I don't know if two ding the cabin I think two only ding the cabin I'm not sure I've never flown with them but I've seen a lot of videos of, of them and they look, I think they just ding the cabin so we'll make this left here now and we'll Probably we might stop a wee bit, uh, but no, we'll just time timing now. That's a terrible lineup. So where is about fifty percent stable? Tuga. Ninety-seven point four frost or ninety-seven point five frost is set. Eighty knots. Eighty knots. Look at the wind on the on the DU there. It's variable, really variable. V one. V one. V one. Up we go. V two. Positive rate gear up. L nav. Holy moly! Oh dear. Jesus. 400 check
into the cloud we go again. Like in the last video we we just got into the cloud that's we departed one thousand. We'll stick the autopilot on. Cause this is very challenging for me anyway. Uh in these sort of conditions. Uh, we can just set three five zero in here. Uh what I will do is I will bug up to about one eighty. Uh, with the gear to up and off and we'll go flaps one. Oh, why is the speed going down? There we go. Right, flaps one is selected. We're about to turn now. We can uh, stick V nav in uh, with Alt intervene and the auto throttle can come off. Uh, and flaps up. weren't as clean as 3000, but uh, we put the flaps up as we hit 3000, so. Uh, we'll be fine. Two twenty knots for this turn. As we're climbing for a slight level, we can just reset all of these on uh, that and that as well. And we can turn off the fixed landing lights uh, with the engine start switches, and the taxi light can come off, and the turn off lights can come off with the wipers and that that is us basically climbing well we stopped but I don't know why I've alt and defend it there we go look at that that's really nice wrong view just cloud surfing just realizes how fast you are just sitting on the top of the clouds uh, to make the FMC's life a bit easier, we'll go direct to add mag, like so. So it's just direct now, it'll speed up to 50. And. <laughs> Let it speed up. After takeoff checklist, uh, engine bleeds are on, packs are auto, uh, landing gears up and off, and flaps are up. No light. That is the after takeoff checklist complete. Uh, release the cabin crew now. They can go, <coughs> and we can turn the landing lights off now because it's in the daytime. So, so that is us on the way to Innsbruck. So I will uh, speak to you in the cruise again, and so enjoy the cinematic shots. So guys, uh, back recording, now currently about 28 minutes into the flight, and as you can see, 
uh, we've got a really big uh, tailwind pushing us along so we might uh, arrive ahead of schedule but anyway uh, as you can see top of the sense just around the corner so I am going to start planning so uh, we are, I've just put us direct to Lursu uh, the seatbelt signs are off oh I better turn them off they just came on uh, everything's just all normal so we're going to expect the circling to land for 08 so the, the way to do this you have to do the localizer approach and then you break off into a circle to land so we'll, uh, we are going to do the uh, if we go into departure and arrival Innsbruck and it's going to be the localizer to uh, for uh, two six, and it's the mad up one. Uh, we go into root. Ah uh, yes, okay. Oh, okay. Right, what is this doing here now? Let me just have a look in plan mode. If I go into So it's from Madab, yeah. Yeah, so you come. It's a weird way you come in, you cut across like that, and then you capture the localizer. Uh, we'll just roll, we have to give ourselves a head and we will. Um, the localizer uh, for Innsbruck is 111.1, one, 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 one. like so. And uh, the minimums is 3,070, 3,700 feet for this type of approach. So we go, oh, scroll, 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 all the way up to 3,700. Is that high? About there, yep. Yeah. And we'll set it on this side. like that and um, uh, we'll, the final approach course is 255 so about there and there oh, we'll be using Autobeck free today very short runway only like 2000 meters long now there is a chart hang on let me just pull up this chart now for the must approach or the, not must approach, the circle to land. So we need to tune the Oscar Echo Victor B DME, which you have. Uh, where are we here? Aye, we have 111, this one, 11, or 10. One and then f um, from Oscar Echo Victor, we will fly until is that 6.5 DME? I'm not sure. Or 4.5. Oscar Echo Victor 4.2 DME. And we'll fly a heading of 230 uh, to about the Innsbruck NDB, which I'll tune now. That'll be a reference for us. So 110, the Innsbruck NDB is 1. Uh, t 420 is the NDB and we can put the ADF on that side hasn't tuned yet because we haven't came into range yet um, so we will fly a track of 230 uh, staying at 3700 feet and then we will ch from when we are 3.5 uh, DME away from the Oscar Echo Victor will make our base turn and uh, land on 08. Uh, it will be flaps 40 and we have got that tune, the Oscar Echo Victor. So, top in the descent is about 160 miles. So, oh, it's a bit laggy, must be loading in stuff. 
So, um, yeah, that is us for now. So I will um, get back to you when we are about to shoot the approach. So guys, we are in the descent now. And how uh, my uh, day has gone. OBS, uh, my sim completely crashed. So, and every, literally it froze and I, I literally had to turn my PC off at the mains. Which is <laughs> it's <laughs> not very good. But I had to uh, go from Gatwick, speed up time, um, to, to get to where we were, le where I left off at. We're just about to... We're just descending, uh, there's Inns, there's the mountains of Innsbruck in front of us. Um, still going to do the circle to land. Um, we've got five tons of fuel left, which is more than enough. Um, so we are uh, nearly at 13,000 where we have to be at Elam. Look at that terrain there. So uh, it's getting a bit dusk. Um, the belts can come on now. Like so. So, um, yeah, so that's us uh, on our way to Innsbruck. I forgot to turn them off when I fast forwarded. Um, uh, yeah, everything's good at the minute. Hopefully, touch wood, uh, everything will be good. So, I'll put throw in a couple of cinematic shots now and then I'll come back to you when we're established on the localizer for the runway 26. So guys, just uh, turning on now to the uh, localizer uh, base thing. Uh, we are very, um, uh, very high. Let's just say. So we're once we get round this corner, we're just gonna literally get her down to three thousand seven hundred. So if we st we're gonna start descending now. And we're going to put flaps 5 out because you have to be configured nice and early. And I am going to put a level change in as well. And I'm going to click Vorlock, which should capture our localizer. Uh, so we are literally um, sending now. I'm just. There's a localizer now. I am going to uh, VS us now because I don't want to be going down this fast because there is literally a mountain in front of us. Holy moly! Um, right. Oh, I don't know why that's down there, but okay. Um. So yes, uh, we are basically descending now. I am going to drop the gear and put flaps 15 out because you have to configure very early for this approach and I'm going to start bringing us down again no I'm not because that is a very high mount so there's the airport and that mountain is getting a bit too high for my liking. So I'm just going to ease off to zero. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Look at that. Ah, we're fine. Ah, nothing to worry about here. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as you see outside the right hand side of your window, we're about to crash into a mountain. Look at there, there's a rat out. Right, I am going to put flaps 
I'll keep it at a flat 15. I might have just put it out a wee. Oh, Jesus. I sh this this is probably illegal in real life, but holy moly, ah we're fine, no bother. Right, let's get down. Down we go. Down we go. Right, taxi lights on, landing lights on, uh, seatbelt signs are on, and we can get the spoilers out. And if I oh I've lost my chart, sugar. So I need to circle to land. So and we'll keep it at one six five. Yes, I know the speed breakers is in. Oh, that's a lovely sunset approach. I might put on the wing light. I'm not sure. Right, there's that glide path to help us get down, even though it's a localizer, probably like a virtual glide path. Um, I'm good in configuration for the minute, so we are. Uh, minimums are set, localizer is on. Right. <clears throat> oh, I need the ADF. Where's the ADF? It ends for ADF. I need a four. 20. There's the under a ADF and I'm gonna go V9. Oh, four lock and I'm gonna go V9 for the speed and the path. Oh no, I don't want that uh, speed. We'll keep it at 160. Right. This is very stressful because I haven't done this in a very long time. Uh, right. So when we're at. Why are we. We're getting a different DME reading. Oh no, we're not. That's alright. So we're 11 miles out from Oscar Echo Victor. And the chart says. At 4.6 DME, you make a turn to. That's not the right chart, so oh dear. Uh, right. Um, there we go. Uh, leave that one. This is very stressful. So it is really stressful, but um, as long as I get down, I'm happy. And I don't know why that is not descending, so I'm just going to stick it in level change. Um, I I think it's 4.6. Bells in a go. Check. 2500. That's checked. So 4.6 miles will make a turn. Uh, yes, 4.2, 4.2 DME. Approaching minimums. And then that will do. Minimums. Um, we're not landing yet, okay. Right, so let me set that heading of 232. Two. So we have passed our minimums, uh, so when 4.2 is happening, we'll... Oh, that has to be stored. And we'll put flaps 25 out now. Right, 4.2, we make the return uh, to uh, 4 DME. That is a runway 26 there, 0 is on the other side, is it? Yeah. Right, there's 4.2 now, we'll make a turn. And we make that turn. Right, I'm going to slow down now to about 160, we'll keep the speed. Look at that night lighting, very nice. So there's 4.3, um, or 4.2. It's 
So once that Innsbruck ADF Neville drops, I'm gonna just uh, there should be power lines somewhere here to follow. And once we're in base, we'll start to put flaps full. Yeah, I think that we follow, yeah, there's the power lines there, there, that's the power line, so we follow them onto, so we'll now turn to a heading of 264, just to avoid, yeah, we will, we will get, hang on, let me just disable that, we will get that, uh, terrain inhibitor. So we're going to follow these power lines. Holy moly, this is just so scary. Right, so once we get from 3... 3.5 DME, we'll make a turn and I'll take over. Right, so let's start slowing down. And we will put flaps 40. I know it probably is a bit too early, but it's better early than not. I'd rather it be early. Um, why? Oh, that should be on. Uh, right, I'll put the logo light on and I'll put the wing light on as well. Lights are on. So at 3.5, I'll take over and we'll make the turn. Right, here we go. Right, let me just get positioned and they're ready to go. 3.5, autopilot out. And we'll start to make that turn. Auto throttle out. So it's completely my aircraft. Get that sending. Bit too. Bank angle. Oh. Bank angle. Bank angle warnings. Look at that, two reds, two whites. Perfect. Now all we have to do is just land it now. Oh, that's, I'm proud of that. I haven't done this in a while. Right. He's a right off. Perfect. If I can get a replay, I'll try and put it into the top left, but let's just focus on landing her. Check. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. Oh, I'm gonna just ease right off the bar. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And we're done. Welcome to Innsbruck. Spoilers. Reverse green. D cell. 80 knots and reverse are stowed and without the auto brake. Perfect. I enjoyed that, that was good. 
since I haven't done this approach in a while, I'm happy with myself with that one. But anyway, welcome to Innsbruck. Uh, we can vacate here. Spoilers and the flaps come up now. Start switches off, <clears throat> landing lights off, taxi and turn off lights off, probe heats can come off, APU can come straight on, strobe can come off, Very good. Anyway, let's clean up. We're cleaned up nearly now. Yeah. And once the APU is fired up, we can turn on to stand. We'll turn on to this one uh, on the right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taxi light can come off as we turn on now. Very good approach that is, but I really enjoyed it. One of the better ones I've done. APU can come on now, and we'll stop. Parking brake set. Two blues, one red. Engines are dead. Just turn that off now. some dome light on in here now. There we go. I forgot to do all that but whatever. Right, anti collision light can come off, seat belt signs can come off, uh fuel pumps can come off as well. We can open the light deck door and we can go to the set of shocks and just do that. I don't know if he has air stairs, I don't care, I don't have ground services. I might invest some in them. Uh, the jar design one. Very good. Uh, that can be put off now. Electric hydraulics can be put off as well, and we can do the shutdown checklist. In transit, if I can get my checklist. There we go. So, shutdown fuel pumps are off, electric or hydraulics are off, a fast seatbelt's off, window heats is off, uh, probe heats is off, anti ice is off, electric hydraulic pumps are off, voice recorder is on auto, I think. Um, air condition packs are auto, engine bleeds are off, or on sorry, APU bleeds off, exterior lights is just the uh, position light, start switches off, auto brakes off, flaps up, no lights, parking brake set, um, weather radar is off, uh, cockpit door is unlocked, that is the, I forgot to do that, that is the shutdown checklist completed. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, very good approach. My landing was better than the uh, one in Dublin the other day. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye.